Hello everyone, in this video I will be performing some DOS benchmarks on the ITX Llama. The benchmarks I will be using come from Phil's Computer Lab's DOS benchmark pack. I will show you my results and compare them to other retro computers compiled in a document by Phil. The video card I have installed on the ITX Llama is a 3DFX Velocity 100 card, which performs around the same as a Voodoo 3 card. I will also be testing the ITX Llama at 300 MHz, 466 MHz, and 500 megahertz. Now let's get to the benchmarks. First, let's start with 3D Bench 1.0C with the Llama set to 300 megahertz. My score was 116. The closest Intel machines that match this performance range from a Pentium 1 133 megahertz to a Pentium 1 MMX 233 megahertz. At 466 megahertz on the Llama, my score was 136.4, putting its performance around a Pentium 1 160 MHz to a Pentium 1 200. At 500 MHz, I scored a 138.4, on par with machines that have a Pentium 150 MHz to a Pentium MMX 200 MHz. Next up is the PC Player Benchmark in VGA mode. My setup seems to love this benchmark because I'm getting scores much higher than I expected. At 300 megahertz, I scored 68.9, and that put it within a Pentium 233 megahertz MMX machine and a Pentium 2 233 megahertz or a Celeron 300 megahertz. The closest Pentium 1 machine I saw scored 59.5. When I set the Llama to 466 megahertz, I got 92.7 putting it around the performance of a Celeron 233 MHz to a Pentium 2 333 MHz. At 500 MHz, my score was 96.7, and that comes within range of a Pentium 2 300 MHz and a Pentium 2 333 MHz. Now for some Doom benchmarks at maximum details. At 300 MHz, my score was 52.82 frames per second, performing around a Pentium 100 MHz machine. With the Llama at 466 MHz, I scored 56.03 frames per second, which scores somewhere in between a Pentium 100 and 166 MHz machine. At 500 MHz, there was no meaningful increase, scoring 56.07 frames per second, less than 1 frames per second better than at 466 MHz. On to some Quake benchmarks. This is running the first time demo on Phil's benchmark test. At 300 megahertz, I scored 32 frames per second, putting it around a Pentium 1 133 megahertz to a Pentium 1 MMX 166 megahertz. At 466 megahertz, I got 45.8 frames per second, coming in between a Pentium 1 MMX 200 megahertz and a Pentium 1 MMX 233 megahertz. And at 500 megahertz, I scored 48.4 frames per second, putting it in the ballpark of a Pentium 1 MMX 233 MHz. I also booted up MDK and ran its internal benchmark. At 300 MHz, my score was 67, putting it slightly ahead of a Pentium 166 MHz. At 466 MHz, I get a score of 102, beating all the machines in the benchmark, but only slightly beating a Pentium Pro 200 MHz. Finally, at 500 MHz, I get a small bump with a score of 109. So Ivan, the creator of the ITX Llama, said that the system on module used on the motherboard should perform around a Pentium 233 MHz CPU, and those claims are valid. Of course, depending on the application and the speed you set the Llama to, you can get different results. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.